All right, thanks for tuning in again at uh, A Rob's Precision Rifle Vlog. Uh, so, I haven't come out with any content lately. I've got a few things going on, uh, both at work and in my personal life, uh, that's kind of kept me from being able to shoot as much as I want. Plus, uh, I'm, I'm short on components right now, but uh, I think that problem is going to be solved pretty soon. Uh, not powders or primers, actually. Um, I'm waiting on some uh, bullets to to show up so anyhow just wanted to go over a few things I went and uh, retested with the tuner today um, and my barrel is over a thousand rounds now on a six creed more so I just wanted to see what I'd be able to get out of it on a quick test uh, and see how much accuracy is life in the barrel or how much life is left in the barrel as far as accuracy goes so I tested the uh, 110 a tip versus the 105 burger and uh i had i had really good results with both um uh, one thing i do want to comment on is uh, i got a lot of uh you know what a joker or uh you know lol comments in all caps about how you know i tuned with just two shot groups each and i was happy with it so uh i guess you know uh it wasn't made apparent but when i did that i wanted to conserve components and uh, i just wanted to get a real quick baseline of hey what setting is going to be optimal uh for for the bullets uh prior to my my match that i had the day after uh so i settled with setting number two on the burger 105s and then uh you know i was curious to see how the 110 a tips would do because i hadn't tuned them yet and I wasn't really happy with the groups I was getting. It was like 0.4 uh, on, or I'm sorry, actually like 0.6 or bigger uh, when I had uh, just run them on setting two. So I was curious to see what I could get uh, with the 110 A tip. So we're gonna go over some of that data today. I'm gonna have some pictures up, uh, you know, right here on the video. So let's go over the Burger 105s first. So. Uh, one thing real quick, I, I made a mistake when I was um, doing my confirmation after tuning the 110A tips. I forgot the target at the range. I, I didn't go back and get it, uh, and that kind of messed me up, so dang it. Uh, so the groups that you see with the Hornady A tips are not what I would say are... Um, <clears throat> you know, five groups that are that are representative of the best tuning setting. Uh, because what I did, they, okay, so one of the groups is, you know, represents the best tuning setting, and and I'll go over which one that was here in a second. But I wish I could have brought the other target back uh, after I had tuned and set on a certain setting that we'll go over here in a second because uh, it it proved out pretty good at 100 yards so i was happy with it but i forgot the target so shame on me um all right so let's go over this so the burger 105s uh i shot four groups and um you know just went through them real quick because i'd already tuned those before with my two shot groups <laughs> uh so these were five shot groups uh you know the group one was uh they were all groups one through four are all on setting two. I didn't do any tuning uh, to the Burger 105s, but uh, group one was 0.262. Uh, group two was 0 0.609. Group three is 0 0.338. Group four was 0 0.324. Now group two, um, I was aiming for the top of the of. Uh, of a line and I was I don't know I was trying some things on that I'd kind of proved out the burger even at distance so I just wanted to see what would happen if I shot him pretty quick so uh, I haven't lost confidence in uh, the tuner or the ability to hold I, I pretty much lost confidence in my ability to hold real good for that particular group um, I wasn't very consistent I wanted to try some free recoiling and I shouldn't have done that when I was testing it out but oh well uh, then uh, the Hornady 110 A tips. So these are settings zero through eight. So I wanted to go through 
sort of the full spectrum of uh, the tuner from zero to eight, because then you're back at zero. And then I, I could have tuned more and uh, gotten more uh, averages, I guess. But really what I do, I'm not looking to, uh, to just, you know, really make sure everything's great because this barrel is about to be done. Uh, I maybe have, you know, 500 rounds left on it. And then I've got to get another one. So I just wanted to see what would happen after, you know, after I knew I had more than a thousand rounds on the uh, barrel, which is still shooting pretty good, by the way. Um, so group one setting zero, uh, I shot a group of 0 0.306. Uh, group two setting two, I shot a group of 0 0.544. Group three setting four, I, I had a group of 0 0.440. Group four setting six, point four one three and then group five setting eight point three seven six um and there was an average of point four one five i don't know if i mentioned it on the burger 105s but i had an average of point three eight three so i was pretty impressed with the hornady a tips because um obviously setting zero was the better setting for the a tips but i had less extreme spread um, overall, even though the average of the groups was tighter, um, that was pretty impressive. Um, I felt like they were, you know, just easy to tune, easy to set. Um, none of the groups on the A-tips were bad at all. So I think what I'm going to do, since I'm having a hard time finding the Burger 105s, is I'm going to go ahead and um, order, you know, maybe a thousand of the 110 A-tips and run those through my uh the next barrel that i'm going to have on order and i'll go ahead and finish out this barrel with the 105s um, which i'm running out of pretty quickly um and i you know i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot these for maybe one more match this year that i'm hoping to make i don't know we'll see so you know i was really uh really happy with the 110 a tips i need to try them out to distance uh i tried them at distance uh one other time and um you know they were good out to 500 um and that's not really distance really in order to make sure that your uh, velocity is true you need to run it to about a thousand yards and make sure that everything is good um you know you you want to look for vertical spread on the you know how much up and down are you from the water line of the target and then adjust from there um, for your you know you want to treat your muzzle velocity I don't mess with the BC a whole lot um, you know and then I mean really if you wanted to tweak the BC you'd need to go run under Berger's Doppler system or over that radar what however it sets up I don't know because I haven't been there and get a custom drag model I do run the Kestrel and, and I like it a lot and it's been very accurate for me. Um, but, you know, I, from what I'm seeing, the, the A tips are pretty spot on, the burgers are spot on. You know, you get a quality bullet, you're gonna be good to go, as long as there's some known data for it. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, um, since I've learned to shoot five shot groups, since I've learned to count to five, sorry. I had some hate earlier this week, so I'm being kind of facetious. Um, next video, I might learn to count to 10. Oh, and speaking of that, there was a seven shot group on that video also that measured uh, 0.3. I don't know if anybody caught that or not, but I did. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm just having some fun. Uh, so anyway, um, I'll try the Hornady 110 a tips probably for the next uh for the next match that i shoot and it's probably not going to be until uh october mid-october late october something like that uh just because i've got a medical procedure coming up and i'm going to be out for you know four to six weeks for it so uh, it's all good though so no worries there um i might i may try to make uh one other video um i have a friend uh uh, Texas Jack 22 his name is Chris uh, he's a really great uh, competitive shooter he does a lot of 22 uh, content so I suggest you go check out his channel 
because um, that's something I'm I'm looking to get into quite a bit next year. So um, yeah, so I, I hope you enjoyed the data. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the the fact that there was a little bit more effort into it this time, uh, so you could see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy for you know how the tuner's performing. It's working really well. The recoil mitigation is very good. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I look forward to more products that Eric is gonna come out with. But uh, you know, and that's something else that after watching his uh, V2 challenge or whatever where they had the head-to-head -head in the f-class match those that, that was pretty cool i enjoyed that quite a bit and uh just been spending a lot of time with my new lab puppy or lab pit mix whatever this guy is his name is Bo. so anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh y'all have a great week and stay safe